buzzword in, in, the, in the secret of secrets in the Pentagon is uh, the Sumerian gods are returning. Now some of you may be asking, who are the Sumerian gods? Well stick around and I'll explain. The most popular belief among theorists is that the Sumerian gods are also known as the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki inhabit planet Nibiru, also known as planet X. Now planet X has a unique orbit, not like most of the planets in our solar system. According to astronaut theorists, Nibiru's orbit is drastically elongated, and it only passes by the Sun and Earth every 3,000 or so years. Some believe the asteroid belt used to be a planet called Tiamat, and unfortunately Tiamat was in this said planet's path as it was making its orbit, so they collided. And Nibiru, being much, much larger than Tiamat, just blew it to smithereens. There's also a theory that many years later, Nibiru was making its pass again. And in its pass, it lined up perfectly behind our moon. And the planet being so large, it has a great gravitational pull. So when it lined up behind our moon, it increased the moon's gravity drastically. This would cause what many reference as the Great Flood. There are many theories as far as what alien species occupies Nibiru, but the most popular one among researchers is that it's inhabited by the Draconian Anunnaki. They are known throughout the universe as being a warring tribe. And many thousand years ago, probably around 30,000 BC, they had a drastic war on the planet Nibiru, a nuclear war, causing the frying of their atmosphere. So as they were passing Earth around this time, they jumped to Earth to see what was there. And much to their astonishment, it was full of gold. See, the ancient aliens not only looked at gold as we do as the precious metal, but they also knew it had absolutely priceless properties. So the Nibiru would create mankind to work as slaves to harvest said gold. Because at first they had what were called the Agigi as slaves. But the Agigi grew fed up after many years of slavery and revolted, gaining their freedom. I believe the Agigi could be the elongated skull people. So once the Agigi gained their freedom, the Anunnaki had nobody harvest their gold so they made us. But eventually the Agigi along with the Lemurians, the tall whites who were already here, along with the Atlanteans. Now the Atlanteans would end up joining the Draconian Anunnaki. And I don't think people realize this, but there's more than one race of Anunnaki. Not only is there the Draconian Anunnaki, there's the Templar Anunnaki or the Templar Anu. Yes, you heard me right, the Templar Anu. And then there's the Syrian Anunnaki or the High Council of the Galactic Federation. Now the Lemurians, the Elongated Skull People, and the Syrian Anunnaki didn't necessarily agree with the enslaving of mankind and they would proclaim this to the ancient Draconian Anunnaki. But they didn't listen. It caused a great war. This said war would break out around the same time as the Third Galactic War was going on. And it would cause havoc on the planet. Great cataclysms, volcanic eruptions, floods, you name it. This war would also result in the death of Mars and Mars moons because the Draconian Anunnaki had outposts there. So the Lemurians and the Syrian Anunnaki would send Nara-1 rockets to the moons, blowing them up at the time not realizing what it would cause later. In the blowing up of Mars's moons, it caused them to become massive asteroids and they would hurl towards Earth, eventually reaching here and causing havoc once again. Now some believe that these caused the Great Flood as well. There's discrepancy there. Between that and Nibiru lining up behind the moon, drastically increasing her gravitational pull, which would increase the tide astronomically causing the flood. So why did the Draconians want gold so bad? Because they had a process where they could break down the gold, fire it into the sky on Nibiru, and they were hoping to replenish their dead atmosphere. Whether it worked or not, not sure. But the result of the war, the good side won, but Mother Earth took a heavy hit. So a couple of the good factions would have to more or less beg their way into Middle Earth or Inner Earth. And after convincing Shambhala the Lesser that they had learned their lesson from war, he let them in. But he did not let the Templar Anu or the Draconian Anunnakis in. Because they were afraid that given the power and the knowledge of Inner Earth, they would abuse it and use it for evil. So they would create the pyramids to block the portals into Inner Earth. Along with protecting the secrets of the Syrian Anunnaki and their powers. See, not many people knew this, but the pyramids were originally built to harvest a star's energy. So this is where gold came in. They would cap the peak of the pyramid with gold. Now the gold caps have long been removed from the pyramids, 
probably by treasure hunters. But that's why all pyramids lined perfectly with certain star constellations. During certain times of the year, they would line up perfectly with said constellations and they would be able to harvest their energy. This is supposedly a picture of the Bosnian pyramid emitting energy from its peak. Now somebody recently sent me this on my Instagram. On the bottom is one of the structures in Teotihuacan. On top is a motherboard of a computer. They have an oddly similar appearance. And what do motherboards use that a lot of people didn't know they did? They use gold because they're great conductors of energy. So what's going on with the recent news that the Sumerian gods are returning and a great war may ensue? Well, stick around and I'll tell you. Make sure you like and subscribe. So it is said, whispers throughout the Pentagon and NASA scientists state that the Sumerian gods are returning, that Nibiru is nearing the planet in its orbit. See, after the war we previously talked about, the Draconian Anunnaki left angry. They feel that they have just as much right to own this planet or live here as humans do. So upon their return, they're going to try to take it back. This is why all this weird stuff is going on. See, there's been some of them here all along, influencing the elite. And in doing this, they are helping shape our world at the moment. Now, where are the Syrian Anunnaki, you might say? Well, they're watching, and they're watching closely. They're going to let mankind get pushed and pushed to the brink. And they're hoping that this will help us ascend to the next level of consciousness. Because once we ascend to the next level of consciousness, we in turn become very powerful beings. But based on texts that I've read, ancient Sumerian tablets, etc., they do say, yes, another great war for the planet Earth is going to break out. And unfortunately, this time, we are going to be heavily involved. There's going to be a lot of manipulation and a lot of deceit. And this may be by our own people. It's hard to say. But in this manipulation and deceit, it's going to look like doom and gloom for the human race and the planet Earth. It's going to look like we are going to cede the planet to the Draconian Anunnaki. But at the exact moment it's beginning to look the darkest, the Lemurians, the Syrian Anunnaki, and all the different beings in inner Earth are going to emerge from the underground tunnels all over the world. And when they do this, a new hope is going to arise. It's not going to be easy, and the battle is going to be intense. But ancient lore tells us that good will prevail. That with the combining of the powers of all the beings on earth and in inner earth, who are inherently good, our power cannot be matched. And once we realize this, good will stomp out evil once and for all leading us in to the next dimension of consciousness and stomping out the Draconian Anunnaki for eternity. Meaning they will no longer have a stronghold over any of mankind and that they will give up on their campaign to take back Earth. We will then be allowed to join our comrades in the Galactic Federation. Now is all of this true? Your guess is as good as mine. But if any of this is true, I sure hope this is. I hope you enjoyed the series. Like and subscribe.